Right, hello there. Um, my name's Paul. You've possibly seen the TV I do once a day. If you haven't, why not go and have a look? I should add at this point, I watch TV, I watch movies, and tonight I've seen the last episode, episode six, Fusion, of the 1980s TV series, Age of Darkness. Now, I've spoken of previous episodes, tonight's episode saw, saw the main character, Ronald Craven, played by Bob Peck, and his fellow traveller, um, Darius Jedberg, Jodon Baker, in a bit of a pickle. In episode five, they've picked up some illegally produced plutonium. This episode, they've got to get rid of it. Ronald Craven's sent, I'm still not clear where he sent his copies. I'll have to double check that. And in the written version of this review, let you know what he's done with them. But at least two bars of plutonium are being held by are being held by Darius Jedberg as he frankly blackmails a meeting a NATO nuclear fumes meeting. He wants the stuff got rid of safely and doesn't believe that it can be or that the use the company that say they're going to use it safely are going to use it safely. He doesn't believe that. And so, of course, he very dramatically at this meeting, he holds apart two bars of plutonium, obviously threatening to bang them together and put them into critical mass. It's quite a dramatic scene. It's a very old timey New Testament sort of prophecy kind of thing, saying, This stuff is dangerous. Here, let me show you. At the end of it all, he manages to escape along with the plutonium he's hidden elsewhere. And Ronald Craven has to go to find him to try and dispose of the plutonium safely. He doesn't want it kept by anyone either, I should add. He just wants it got rid of. Um, it's, I've got to say, it's, it's one hell of an episode. The series is a beautiful thing to watch, and it's got a suitably, suitably Old Testament feel to it, suitably apocalyptic feel to it, but uh, it's got a suitably apocalyptic feel to it, but it's also got a suitably hopeful one in amongst the, in amongst the immediate dangers and the threat of death. Jedberg and Craven are both dying of severe radiation poisoning. So this is an episode where we know they are not long for this world. It's an episode where the world will go on. The world will go on long after you, me, and the characters are dead. Very dead. Which is sort of a bleak thought, but it's watchable because of that inevitability. Because we know Jedberg and Craven are for the chop. Give this series a watch. If you're watching this or you're reading the review and if you can track down Edge of Darkness, if you can track down Edge of Darkness, I think you're going to sit down with six roughly hour long episodes that are going to repay you. The storyline's going to repay you, the nerves are going to repay you. Seeing very familiar faces of the 80s BBC acting pool are going to repay you. Don't forget after all this was Joanna Wally's this and the Singing Detective with Joanna Wally's highlight series. Go catch it. It's on Amazon. I believe it's on iTunes UK as well. I think it's on Netflix as well. Don't quote me on that, but go watch Edge of Darkness. There are very few serials like it. Thanks for watching. Check out the teasers. Have a good evening. And uh, try not to. Try not to yawn too much on TV. <laughs>